Okay guys, so this is going to be hopefully a relatively quick unboxing and first impression video for the Cobra Drive HD CDR840 with GPS. I've been looking around for something like this for quite a while now. It was only until just yesterday that I found this one and it met the price that I wanted to spend. And the reviews on it seemed pretty good on Amazon, so I went, went ahead and bought one off of Amazon. From what I've seen, it's a really good idea to get one of these simply because it really covers your ass in the event of a crash or if somebody's trying to commit insurance fraud. The way I look at it, this thing was 150 bucks and if I never have to use it, it's worth it. You know, it's just one of those things. But if I do have to use it, it more than pays for itself. Believe me, if somebody tries to commit an insurance fraud, especially where I live here in California, um, it's really sad because most people can get away with it because of the way the rules and laws are laid out Which is complete bullshit if you ask me, but so getting one of these is a really good idea And from what I've been reading online from a lot of people who have them and similar units um, They they're just a great investment to have in your car uh, Especially if your car is newer and you have full coverage on your car. It's that much more important we've, What we've got here is the product registration info and you know your registration card 15% discount on a future purchase of a great Cobra product. Well, that's cool If you register it anyways But everybody knows if you buy something not on the manufacturer website You often will get a better deal than they'll, than they'll give you anyways so what we've got here is a, looks like a pretty long, and this is a good thing, uh, car charger. It is one of the generic ones. I can tell that right off the bat. You can pick these up on eBay for really like two or three dollars. However, one thing that I can already tell that might be an irritation is the fact that this is not a USB charger. There's my phone going. So that's, you kind of, you're kind of going to have to get, I don't know if this is proprietary, but it's definitely not USB. It definitely doesn't work on everything. So that's one hit against it. However, if it works, it works. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. Another thing we got here is what looks like the mount for the actual unit itself. Relatively durable mount. I mean, they don't need to be rock solid, but it's good that it's not made out of cheap plastic either. I mean, it's not as durable as it could be, but definitely feels good. And then the other bit we have here, which it already has a USB port on it, and one thing I don't understand, but I guess you can't charge it through the USB port, but they do give you a standard USB cable. So that's good. Now let's pull the unit out of the package here and kind of give it a brief once over. This unit does record in 1080p HD. It does record audio. Now as you guys can see here, the unit itself looks like an old school MP3 player. That's kind of cool. Anyways, as you can see here on the back, you have your charging port as well as your micro SD slot. I don't really mind that it has one of these types of cards as opposed to a mini SD card. However, it would have been a lot more convenient if it had a mini SD card as I already have like four or five mini SD cards. It does appear to be an off-brand card, but that's okay. It's an eight gigabit card. I don't know how many hours of video this thing can record on it. However, in the actual review of this thing, I'll go ahead and fill you guys in on that one when I get around to reviewing it. Before we get to the other back part, What's really cool here is it has an HDMI output. Um, that's really cool, especially you know if you're in a situation where you don't have a computer in front of you and this screen is too small to play back off of. You could, I would assume, play it back on a TV or a monitor or any other sort of device. And as you can see here, you also have your USB port if you want to connect it to your computer. Um, I'm not going to power the unit on, but it does have a smaller screen, which is okay, you know. It's fine because it makes the overall size of the unit a lot smaller. Somewhat tactile D-pad on it, as well as an OK button here in the center. Your power button right up here, and then I'm guessing this marks the videos that you are taking within the stream and prevents them from being overwritten. I don't know that for sure, but I would assume that's what it's for. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview. Look to my future videos for a complete and detailed review of this thing. Hopefully it works out good for me. Um, I've known Cobra to be a very good brand. I don't know if this is a rebadge of a Chinese knockoff, but the real unfortunate thing about these dash cameras is a lot of them are 
basically imported from China. Um, so that's why I'm really hoping this thing turns, turns out to be really good for me. Um, and as I said before, just wait for that uh, future review video. You guys all stay classy.